Good morning everybody. Wow, it is so bright today. It's chilly, but it's bright. I'm hobbling along really carefully and I'm super excited because, well, for the last couple of weeks or so, I've been getting out of the house and doing a little bit more of a walk each day. And today, let me just show you where I am. This is the furthest I've managed to get. And I am in, oh, sorry, you see I'm filming left-handed because the crop is in my right. Today, I'm in one of my local little parks. Oh my goodness, straight into the sun, sorry about that. Let's have you back round here a minute and I'll explain why. So, like I say, I've been trying a bit more of a walk each day and this little local park of mine, it's fairly close to my garden. So the idea is keep practicing, keep practicing so I can get back to the garden, which I'm gonna do hopefully in the next day or so. But today in our local little park here, where there's a very active community of sort of friends of the park, um, we're going to do some tree planting. I say we, they're going to do it. And what they've asked for from the local community is for individuals to adopt a tree, a single tree, and to be that tree's carer for the next three years or so, which will entail um, watering it once a week, just making sure the, the stake is okay, etc, etc. So I volunteered to adopt a tree and I need to get a wriggle on, I think they're starting. Um, yeah, I volunteered to adopt a tree, but also I want to sort of become a member of this group. It's a Friends of the Park because they do all sorts of sort of bulb planting and maintenance. And I've got a, a real soft spot and fondness for this park because it was my sort of on the doorstep park when I had my dog, my little dog Charlotte Bronte and we used to come here for our quick walks, a little run. The path that goes around the outside I know is 400 metres <laughs> so 12 laps is what, is that a 10k? <laughs> yeah, so let's go and find some trees to plant and I'll give you a little look at the park as we go but you'll have to excuse my wobbliness we're just going under some trees excuse my wobbliness because this is left-handed whereas normally I'm right I'm just going to swing you around again now we're out of the bright sunshine this is so sweet a little paddling pool they fill this up in the summer and families come down here and camp out almost all day with their picnics and the kids can splash and play to their heart's content. There's no dogs allowed in here. Um, so yes, there's lots of squeals of joy come from this area in the summer. Oh, is that them starting over there? Gosh, I do need to get a wriggle on, don't I? Right, this way. I think I'm going to turn you all off for a minute whilst I just try and get a bit of a giddy up and find out where our trees are.
sort of two or three years before we're going to get any fruit but that's going to be worth the wait isn't it so the idea with the um with this adopt a tree scheme is that each of us will become responsible for one tree so we'll look after it we'll water it i don't know about pruning but the arboriculturalist is that the word Arbor arboriculturalist Arbor arboralist oh i don't know you know what i mean the tree guy from the council is going to um give us some advice and some tips about care so one of these little trees oh sorry i'm shaking because i'm shivering one of these little trees is going to become my little baby i'm so excited i can't wait so that's one of the apples going oh where's he going with it all around the corner oh my goodness let's have a little of the other chat that guy oh i can't see anything because of the light Sorry guys, couldn't say anything because I'm like... So that's one of the apples that's going to go there. And that's another apple there. This gentleman's our tree expert from the council. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, we can do that. Great. So the last one... That's a plum. It's going to be a plum. And this one, I think, must be the pair. What's really lovely as well is a lady's turned up on her mobility scooter today and donated a bit of... There we go, it's going past. A bit of a tree from her garden. That's, I believe, she said it's a cooking apple. Where's the cooker going to go? The other two are eating apples. You've got to do some rubber shovel and I could just uh, peel over a little bit of soil. Beautiful day. Also, Julian, the monkey tree is going virtually over there, isn't it? That marks the spot. So, I don't know if you can make it out, it's still laying on the ground. I'm actually going to hobble off shortly before this actually gets planted because this is my first big outing. And I'm getting quite cold standing around and I don't want to push it with my knee. But let's read the label because this is going to be my adoptee. It's Pyrus Doyen du Comis. Pyrus Doyen du Comis. This is a pear. And this, this is the little tree I have adopted. And I'm going to be looking after for the next two or three years. It's in a lovely spot just here in the corner of the park. A little shady bit. Oh, there's a lot of ivy in that tree. Lovely, lovely spot here. So, I'll come back in a couple of days. Make sure my baby has settled in. <laughs> Oh, how wonderful. What a lovely, lovely project for our community in our lovely little park. Even bare in winter. Aren't they magnificent? These chaps are going to stay warm by doing their work. Good work, chaps. Oh, it's been so lovely to, well, get out. But oh, heck, it's chilly though. It's proper chilly. It's only about three degrees. But it's just lovely to come out and be safe. I'm on a little um, tarmac path, so I'm absolutely safe and sound. I think what this means is I'm pretty much ready to get back to the garden. Um, oh, you can probably hear puffing a bit. It is a bit of an effort to move, but my goodness, it's worth it, isn't it? To come out on such a bright day, be part of the community. And um, when I 
came down this morning, I didn't know it was going to be the memorial trees as well as our orchard. And that makes it even more special because, well, you know, from the flowers on my allotment that I'm a huge fan of having plants in memory of people. I think it's a really beautiful tribute, something that will continue to grow. Yay! And every time it blossoms, every time these trees blossom, actually, I'm just going to walk past them again, so I'll give you a shot of them in place. But the thought of, you know, those missing family members is so sad. But to know that these trees will grow and bloom and blossom every year, I think it's a really comforting thing. So, nearly there. Just enjoying this fresh air. Here we go, let me light you up so you can have a look. There we go. The two trees there. Beautifully framing the bench. So on this beautifully bright but oh so cold winter's morning, I'm going to say cheerio to you all for now. Happy tree planting, happy tree hugging, happy tree pruning, whatever it is you get up to with your trees, get up to it with some trees. I'll see you all again really soon, I hope. Take care.